Hey everyone, so today we'll be solving another cross-site scripting lab on Portsvigar Academy. So let's get started. So this lab contains a stored cross-site scripting vulnerability in the comment functionality. And to solve this lab, submit a comment that calls the alert function when the blog post is viewed. Okay, so we basically have a cross-site scripting vulnerability on comment section of a blog post, right? So let's see how that works. So let me just go to the lab. I've already started the lab. So let me just go back to the lab. So here we have a bunch of uh, blog posts right so let me open any of the blog post uh, so this looks good okay let me just open that so let's scroll down to comment section so as always when you're trying to find cross-site scripting vulnerability the first thing that you have to do is less than greater than and put some stuff inside that and I'll copy the same thing to every other field so paste paste and paste and just to differentiate multiple section here I'll give one here I'll give two three and four and now let me just post the comment and this says that this should be in the email format okay so i'll give an email format i code at the temp.com post comment and this should match the website format okay i think i have to give http http example.com yeah that should work so i'll post the comment and we have submitted the comment so let me just go back to the comment so if I scroll down, I should see my comment. So it is here. And now let me just open the source code of the page. So, and I'll search for I code. And here, if you see, right, where we uh, submitted I code to, right, for that field, the less than and greater than symbols are encoded, right? But if you go to the next field where we have uh, submitted I code one for that field, right, here, the less than and greater than symbols are not encoded. So here for this field, there is a possibility that cross site scripting vulnerability is present for that particular field where we submit I code one. And that is nothing but the comment section. If you go here, this, this is where we submit I code one. So this is where the cross site scripting vulnerability is possible. So let us actually use a simple payload now instead of I code one. So I'll use script alert one right and here i'll give script closing tag and here i'll give garbage as there is no vulnerability possible here and here i'll give some i code at the redtemp.com and website i'll use the same and now if i post the comment yeah the comment is posted and we have solved the lab and if you're curious you can just go back to the source code of the page just to see your payload and as you can see whenever someone you know opens your blog post the payload will be executed okay now if you go back to the source code of the page right and if you search for alert so here you can see that your payload is successfully present on the page without any encoding and that is why it got executed whenever someone is trying to view your blog post so that's it for this lab thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe